On the left, there is an image of coronary artery angiogram. Coronary artery disease is the biggest killer and often the first representation of the disease is a sudden heart attack causing death. The word angiogram means a study of vessels. The word coronary refers to blood vessels of the heart. There are two main coronary arteries, left coronary artery and right coronary artery. The right coronary artery is not visible on this x-ray as the catheter, catheter can go into one artery at a time. You should note straight away here that the left coronary artery is far more smaller than any of the two branches that arise from this artery. Normally, this one should be slightly bigger than bigger in diameter as compared to either of its two branches. The artery is stenosed in medical terms. And if I'm not wrong, this is around 70 to 80% blocked. This is the perfect example of coronary artery disease. You'll also note a similar narrowing in circumflex branch of the left coronary artery, which probably is not as bad as this uh, main artery here. Please note that if left coronary artery or left main coronary artery as it is known as gets blocked 100%, even for a short period of time, then it will completely cease blood supply to any of its branches which is uh, which which supplies to a large area of cardiac muscles and that will cause what is known as myocardial infarction to a large area of cardiac muscles which will cause sudden death myocardial infarction means death of cardiac muscles which can no longer contract and relax however blockage of any of the distal branches will cause infarction to a much smaller area and, and the person is likely to survive. Please note that this patient also has metallic sutures. So these are metallic wires that are used to held sternum together after open cardiothoracic surgery. This indicates that this patient has had an open cardiothoracic uh, in past, which many times is carried for a surgery known as cabbage, CABG coronary artery bypass graft and probably this is the reason that distal branches of uh, left anterior descending artery are not clearly visible uh, as per my understanding. So this patient may have had uh, a coronary artery stenosis somewhere here and that has been treated by with the help of a bypass graft and these are the wires that have been used to close the sternum after that surgery. There is another wire here and over here you can also see this bit of the wire is visible. So coronary artery disease means uh, coronary artery disease means stenosis or in simple words narrowing of the coronary artery. The left coronary artery divides into circumflex and left anterior descending artery. The circumflex branch runs posteriorly and supplies the left atrium and the posterior wall of the left ventricle. The LAD or, or left anterior descending artery or anterior intraventricular branch as it is known as sometimes, travels towards the apex of the heart, towards the apex of the heart, and supplies the anterior wall of both ventricles and the intraventricular septum. So you can uh, imagine these are very, very like ma ma major part of the heart is supplied by the left main coronary artery. And if it gets blocked here, it will shut down. It will cease the supply of uh, oxygenated blood to a large part of the heart, and it's very difficult for the person to survive after a blockage, 100% blockage of the left main artery. So what you see here is a plastic tube known as catheter, which is usually inserted, which is usually inserted through the uh, one of the femoral arteries at the level of hip joint. And then it is pushed into thoracic, into the abdominal aorta and then the, to the thoracic aorta. And finally, in to uh, the into the root of aorta so which is this this is the root of aorta and actually this is one of the three cusps that is visible so aortic valve has three cusps and this is one of the cusps uh, that is visible here then a contrast medium is injected into the catheter and which flows through the artery making it visible on the x-ray okay so for those uh, who do not know the anatomy i'll hopefully make another video hopefully However, I'm sure that uh, there are many other people on YouTube who already have done that. Feel free to seek knowledge and best of the luck. Thank you very much.